Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on Python installation for Windows users. We'll be installing Anaconda and Jupyter. So Anaconda is a high performance Python distribution and installing Anaconda will install Python already. Okay. Why are we using Anaconda? Why do we need to install Anaconda? So these are some of the advantages of Anaconda. It's very easy to install. We can update or install packages independent of any system libraries. And when we install Anaconda, we don't need to worry about dealing with any environment paths. In addition, Anaconda has lots of packages already installed, like NumPy, SciPy, and so many other packages. And this is also one of the disadvantages. That is, since it has all of this package installed, its size is very big. It's about 350 megabytes. Okay, so that's one of the disadvantages and also advantages. Okay, now let's start by installing Anaconda. So I'll go to Google and type Anaconda Python. If you do a search and open the first link here, download Anaconda now. It will take you to Anaconda's website. So here you'll see Anaconda. It's a platform powered by Python. It's a high performance distribution of Python and R and it includes hundreds of packages and libraries. If you scroll down a bit here, you'll see links for download for Windows, OS X and for Linux. Click on download for Windows. And here you'll see options to install Python 3.5 version or Python 2.7 version. Our course uses Python, we use Python 2.7, so we'll be installing Python 2.7. For that, the easiest way to, do, to install Python 2.7 Anaconda is by clicking on this button, whether you are using 64-bit or 32-bit click on the appropriate button so once you download the installer you download the installer and then once you finish that double click the that exe file to install anaconda and follow the instructions on the screen to complete your installation and if you prefer to use Python 3.5, go ahead and click on the appropriate button, whether you are using 64 or 32 bits. Again, once you download the installer, double click the .exe file to finish installation and follow the instructions on the screen. Great. Okay. Once you complete installing Anaconda, the next thing you need to do is click on this start windows button and then you can type anaconda prompt anaconda prompt and then when you type anaconda prompt it will pop up i, I see it here if you don't see it you can type anaconda prompt and open anaconda prompt and once you have anaconda prompt open the next thing we need to do is type Python. So this will make sure whether Anaconda is installed or not. So we'll type Python. Python and press enter. Here you'll see your Python version, Python 2.7.11. You might see a different version since I installed Anaconda a while ago. 
and you'll have Anaconda 64 bit and some message like this. So we know Anaconda is installed. And here you can perform some Python statements. For instance, I can say print hello there and then enter hello there it's, is printed. And if I perform some operations, let's say 4 plus 98, 102. So these are some Python operations and statements. You can say for i in range 6, let's print i, print i. So I know that Python is working. This is to make sure whether Python works or not. And if you make any mistakes, it will say, it will show you the error that you make. So this is just to verify that Python is working on our system. Okay. Okay, now we see that Python is working. Great. And once you finish this, if you want to quit Python, you can simply type quit and then press enter. So that will quit Python. And if you want to clear your screen, you can use the command clear. Great. Okay. The next thing we need to do is install Jupyter. So if you go to jupyter.org, you can go to Google and type Jupyter and open the first link, or you can simply search for the link jupyter.org. And it will take you to the Jupyter's main web page. So we'll be installing Jupyter Notebook. So you can click install and then it gives you some, you can read more about it here. For instance, here it says, they recommend installing Anaconda for installing Jupyter. They go along very well. And you can use, you can read more about the information here. But let's go ahead and install Jupyter. So to install Jupyter, click on your start Windows button and search for Anaconda prompt. And once you open, once you are in Anaconda prompt, simply type Conda install Jupyter. So Conda space install space Jupyter. That's the command you need. Conda space install space Jupyter. Press enter. So it will take a moment. It might take a few seconds. I have already installed Jupyter. So it says all requested package already installed. For you, you might see a little bit different message and also longer because it will be it takes some few seconds to install Jupyter, all the packages and things involved. So at the end, you might have to press yes or you'll see a message saying install successfully or something like that. Okay. Once you finish Jupyter installation, we got to make sure that Jupyter works or not. For that, the command we need is simply type Jupyter space notebook. Jupyter space notebook and press enter. So this will open up your Jupyter notebook on your browser. So here I have the Jupyter notebook homepage. This is the homepage. And then here you can click to start a new notebook, click on new. And then you'll see the options Python Conda root or Python default. Click on either one of two, either one of these two. You might see Python 2 or Python 3, depending on your ins installation. If you see Python 2, if you are using Python 2, and if you see the option Python 2, click on it. If not, if you see Python, Conda root and Python default, 
click on either one of them that will open a new notebook for you let's open python roots so this is a, Jup a new jupyter notebook here you can here is where you can save the title for your notebook let's say the title for this will be python installation installation on windows for instance so you can see that, that will be the title of your notebook and then these are your notebook cells and you can type commands like print hello there and then to run at a cell press shift and enter on your keyboard let me write it here shift plus enter on your keyboard will run a cell and you see the result displayed right after your input print hello world hello world is there you can also perform some python operations we can say if x is equal to <coughs> 6 print the value of x is 6 or else we can say print wrong value so if you run this print wrong value if you run this you'll get wrong value so I know that our Jupyter notebook works fine so this is another Python statement for I in range let's say 6 print I print I we'll learn about all of this these are some of the Python statements I'm just making sure that our Jupyter notebook works great so the notebook works fine another advantage about Jupyter notebook is that you can use Jupyter notebook online for free if you want so if we go to jupyter.org and if you scroll down here and click on try it in your browser button here <coughs> you can use Jupyter notebook for free online for this you will need an internet connection so for that option click on new and then select your python version we're using python 2 so i'll click on python 2 and that will open up a new notebook for you again to see if jupyter works or not you can simply say print hi there hi there is printed i can say let's say x is 8 then let's use some if statement if x is equal to 8 print the value of x is 8 else we can print i don't know what x is in this case since x is equal to 8 the statement will be printed the value of x is 8 we learn all about this i just wanted to see if jupyter notebook works or not so this is how you can use jupyter online for free and we need an internet connection okay and the other option that we have the one we will use mainly is by going to your anaconda prompt and then typing jupyter that typing jupyter space notebook right now my jupyter notebook is working right it's running that's what this is all the message i see here and if you want to quit jupyter notebook you can simply press ctrl and c on your keyboard ctrl and c so now jupyter is no longer running and if you go to jupyter to your jupyter notebook it will say connection failed that's because your Jupyter not notebook is no longer running. That makes sense, right? 
and you can restart your notebook by simply going back to your Anaconda prompt and then type Jupyter space notebook and then press enter. So now you have uh, Jupyter, this is the Jupyter homebook. And then click on new to start a new notebook, click on new and select Python conda root on or Python default. Okay. And you might see the option Python too. If you see that, click on it. If not, if you see this two options, it's fine. So you can click on Python conda root or Python default. It doesn't matter. Then you can perform your statements here. Great. So just to recap what we did in this lecture, we looked at Python installation for Windows and we installed Anaconda and Jupyter. We saw the advantages of Anaconda and we installed Jupyter by using the statement Conda space install space Jupyter. And to open a new notebook, you can type Jupyter notebook on your Anaconda prompt. Great. Thank you everyone and see you at the next lecture.